In this video, I'm going to show you how to add drop cap in Word, and this is what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. I'll show you how to change the font of your drop cap. I'll also show you how to add color to the drop cap and even show you how to add spacing in between the drop cap and the main text. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. This is the document where I want to add a drop cap. To do that, I just click on the particular paragraph where I need the drop cap. For instance, if I need it on the first paragraph, I just click anywhere inside the first paragraph. Next, I go over to insert. Under the text group, I click on drop cap. In here, I have three options. That is none, dropped, and imagine. So first of all, let's look at dropped. I just go ahead and click on it and my drop cap will be added. Awesome. So if I click aside, this is how it will look like. By default, it will drop to three lines. Let's see how we can make it more than three lines. To do that, we go back to drop cap, still inside the paragraph. I click on drop cap and I go over to drop cap options. Under options section, I go to lines to drop. You see that we have three in there. I increase it to maybe seven and I go ahead and click on OK. You now see that it has dropped to seven lines. Now I want to choose a different paragraph and I go over to drop cap and this time around I will choose in margin. Perfect. So this is how it will look like. The drop cap will fall inside the margin of your page. You see that our drop cap is closer to the text. Let's see how we can create a space in between the drop cap and the main text. I'm still inside the paragraph. Then I go over to drop cap, drop cap options. And the distance from text, you see that it is zero centimeters. In your case, you may see different unit of measurement. It doesn't really matter. So I can increase it from here. Maybe I'll make it one centimeter. Then I go ahead and click on OK. And the drop cap will move away from the text. Similarly, we can do it to this particular one just by clicking anywhere inside the paragraph. Then go over to drop cap, drop cap options. Then I want to increase it to 0.6. Then I click on OK. Perfect. Another thing you can do is go ahead and change the font of the drop cap. To do that, I go over to drop cap and I click on drop cap options and the font. I drop down the arrow here and I can choose whichever font I want. Maybe I want to use Bodoni MT. I click on it and I go ahead and click on OK. Awesome. You are not only limited to changing the font. You can also go ahead and change the font color. But this time around, you cannot do it under drop cap. You see that we don't have any option with regards to color. So I exit out of here. So this time around to be able to apply color to my drop cap, I need to highlight it like this. Then I go over to home. Under the font group, I go to color and I can choose whatever color I want. Maybe red. Awesome. So that's it on how to add drop cap in white. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value candidate, hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.